Hello people this is Vishal I'm a front end developer at Amazon and uh, an alumni of St Martin's Engineering College welcome to my first code along session where we are going to look at basic javascript problems and we'll try to solve them together so these are beginner level problems so that you learn along with me so let's get into it before we look at the problem let's uh, look at the directory structure first so we have a basic index.html file a scripts folder where we have a script file we have which we are importing in our index.html so that we can run this code on the browser uh, now jumping into the problem so we have a question here where it says write a function to remove nesting from the array where the input is this and um, our expected output is going to be a flattened array okay so the people who want to do it on their own you can pause the video here try it out come back and uh, then look at uh, the solution with me the people who want to code along with me or uh, who want to uh, see how we approach this problem you can uh, stay and uh, look at this uh, video now uh, looking at the input we have this uh, nested array as an input so let's take this uh, put it in a variable test uh, we are basically going to just jot down the basics right now uh, so we need a function called flatten let's call it flatten because that's what it is going to do um, and uh, we need to call this function with our test input so our function is going to receive an input as well and since uh, this is going to return an output too we are going to console log so that we can see the result okay now since the basics are out let's look at the problem so we have an array one two three uh, another subset a small array another small array and then there is a big nested array so what we want to do here is the there so if you notice this problem the there are these small arrays which are basically the subset of the bigger problem right so we want to flatten the bigger array but it contains some smaller arrays which we want to flatten as well so if you see here there is a basic model of a subset so what we are going to do here the best solution for these cases where there are subsets of the bigger problems we are we always use recursion okay so of course you can do it by brute force as well but uh, we will be looking at the recursive solution uh, for this one so let's get some basics out so we want our result to be an array and uh, this is going to be uh, returned as well okay now we need to loop over each of these uh, elements and uh, see what we can do with that so for looping we are going to use for of loop so we create a data of input now data after each iteration is going to uh, hold values of each in index so that's sorted now what we need to do next is uh, we are going to write result equal to result dot concat so the reason why i'm using concat you will know when you use it so uh, you can try using push you see what happens but let's use concat for now and see um, how we'll solve this so let's use um, without thinking much let's do one thing uh, let's just uh, call the function again with the data and see what happens we are not going to run our brain over it right now let's run it and see what happens so to run this uh, i'm going to uh, go to our good old friend python uh, and run a basic a uh, simple http server you can see that the server is running on 8000 so let's go there before we visit the website let's open our console because there is nothing on the website it's all going to be on the console um now visit our local host 8000 and we have an error so which says input is not iterable which is 
uh of course we have not uh, put a lot of brain on that so the input is uh, this error is basically quite informative and uh, we know that when i pass one to the same function so after uh, on the first loop we get a data as one but on the flatten we pass data uh, as one and uh, in the second iteration the input is going to be one on which we are trying to loop so hence the error which says uh, input is not iterable so fair enough uh, it's a very simple solution we'll just uh, put a check here uh, whether so before uh, the input reaches the loop we have to make sure that the input is an array so we will put a condition here uh, array dot is array of input so yeah so at this point we are just going to return input so if it is not an array we are just going to return the same input if it is an array we let it pass through the loop and uh, uh, let the recursion happen uh, you can also call this condition as uh, the recursion breaking condition uh, yeah so now look at the flow of code here so we received an input of this and uh, the first condition that it goes through is array dot is array of input which is true and not of that is going to be false so it never reaches this and we let our code uh, reach the iteration over here so in this loop the data on the first iteration is going to be one so without thinking much we are just passing that one to the same function again so input becomes one array dot is array of one is going to be false so not of that is true hence the return input is 1 now we are going back to our uh, uh, older stack where we were doing result.concat flatten input has already returned 1 so result which is an empty array right now the concat is gonna just add 1 to that array the same thing happens for 2, 3 uh, but when we reach this uh, thing, uh, this subset where we say four five and another array of six seven so flatten of uh, that array is now becoming a smaller problem in the same problem so uh, we now the input is going to be four five six seven and uh, the same loop basically starts continuing and we are just going on concatenating by going to the depth of this array and same goes on here as well so uh, without wasting much time so i hope uh, the solution is quite clear let's not waste uh, much time and run it and see whether it's working so yeah so if you look at the uh, uh, result over here we have one two three four five six seven and undefined it doesn't matter what input is there in the on the index uh, it is going to work so that's all for this problem uh, if you have any better approach of this uh, problem you can uh, directly mention that in the comment uh, comment section and uh, also please let me know how whether you like this kind of videos or not so that uh, i get a feedback and uh, we can create more such code alongs uh, in the future uh, you can visit my portfolio website which is vishal0203.github.io and uh, if you go to the contact section you will have my email email me you can email me any problems that you want me to uh, solve so we can just go ahead create a, another code and long session and uh, we can uh, try to solve that problem together so that's all for this video thank you